What up YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at Moth Mando. Now Moth Mando finally returned to the item shop. He is an epic outfit. He is part of the Moth command set. He does come with the back in the wind back. So without further ado guys, let's get this review started. So Moth Mando. The skin itself was introduced during season six of chapter one and it's just a military outfit that does have a mod mask on. You can easily tell by the attire he is wearing that he is military base and he does have a similar attire to that of Reflex. The skin itself does come with a very unique back thing called the wing back which is just a giant wings on his back which is very unique. Now this outfit was actually inspired by the whole moth in a lamp which actually came a little bit too late to Fortnite but the skin itself is still very loved. So, how does he fit Fortnite in 2021? Now, the skin itself really hasn't aged that well. The skin itself is an epic outfit, so it's gonna cost you 1500 V-Bucks, which in my opinion is a little bit too much for the outfit. Back then, this was the norm, having an outfit like this being 1500 V-Bucks, but again, I just think it's overpriced for today's standards. Now, the way they can make this a little bit better is if they do give him a selectable style, but I don't think they will, and the skin is decent for what it is. So, what's my final rating for Moth Mando? I'm gonna have to give Math Mando a 5 out of 10. Even though I do love the skin, I have to be honest with myself and say that the skin is not that well. The design of the outfit is decent but not the best. Then the backlink does have a very unique style to it, but again it doesn't really fit that many skins and the price tag is just hurts it a lot more. So without further ado guys, let's get these combos started. For our first combination with Moth Mando, we are gonna be pairing him up with the last gasp. Now Moth Mando does have a very unique thing that whenever you are using him he does breathe out the smoke from his mask and it just matches really good with the whole backlink itself. Then for the harvesting tool we're going to be going with the fresh cut. Now the fresh cut is an item that you could obtain in the item shop for 500 V-Bucks and it's very simple but effective on any green skin. Then for the control we're going to be going with the vines. The main reason why I'm using the vines is because it does remind me of that stink order control and it just fits perfectly with the curse game as well. Then for the glider, we're gonna be going with the bat glider. Now the bat glider is just Batman's glider, but it fits very well because of the whole mod thing. And for the wrap, we're gonna be going with the green toy. Now the green toy does have a similar curse scheme to that of the outfit, and that is the main reason why I'm using it with this combination. For our next combination with Mod Mando, we are gonna be pairing him up with the Modrin Cloak. Now the Modrin Cloak is a Halloween backlink, but you wouldn't tell just by looking at it. The curse scheme it does have on the back being green matches perfectly with the green attire he does have and then inside the cape it does have orange which goes very well with the green as well. Then for the harvesting tool we're gonna be going with the propeller axe. Now the propeller axe does cost you 800 V-Bucks in the item shop but it's a nice addition with this combination because of the whole military feeling. Then for the contract we're gonna be going with the variant flames. Now it actually fits very well with this combination because of the flames themselves being green and overall it just fits perfectly. Then for the glider we're going to be going with the Kosayo Chopper. Now the Kosayo Chopper does cost 1500 V-Bucks in the item shop. I know it's a little bit too pricey for a lot of people but it fits very well with the whole military style that the skin does have. Then for the wrap we're going to be going with the Master Mind. The Master Mind wrap does have a green aesthetic look that looks amazing and overall complements the outfit perfectly. Then for our next combination, we are going to be pairing up Moth Mando with the Tackle Box with the default that is out. Now this is a Chapter 2 Season 1 backlink which actually does have a military style and it does have the similar green to that of the outfit. Then for the Harvesting Toe, we are going to be going with the Toothpick. Now the Toothpick does have a green olive on top of the Toothpick itself which actually goes very well with the outfit. It also has that whole meme thing going for it so it complements them in that regard as well. Then for the control, we're going to be going with the Phantasm. The Phantasm control just fits very well with Moth Mando because of the green aesthetics it does produce. Then for the glider, we're going to be going with the Elite Recon with the style default. And then for the other style, we're going to be going with the Glow On. Now this color scheme with the greenish and yellow color scheme goes very well with the whole combination. Then for the wrap, we're going to be going with the Neon Venom. The Neon Venom does have the underbelly of the weapon wrap or vehicle to like a glowish green color scheme. And overall, it just fits very well. And for the next combination with Moth Mando, we are going to be pairing him up with a Doggy Bag. Now the Doggy Bag is one of those backlinks you could obtain in the item shop for 200 V-Bucks and it's the, one of the better ones you could obtain for the cheap price. Then for the Harvesting Toe, we're going to be going with the Fan Sauce with the Hunter Edda Style. Now the Hunter Edda Style for this combination fits very well because of the green aesthetics it does have. Then for the Control, we're going to be going with the Sap Light. 
a very universal control but it fits very well with Moth Mando especially because he does have those yellow glows on the eyes and on the snout as well. Then for the glider we're gonna be going with the chopper. The chopper glider is a military style glider which actually fits the whole thing. And for the wrap we're gonna be going with the riptide. Now the riptide itself does have a military camo on the weapon wrap in particular and it does have a yellow color scheme as well which goes very well with the yellow from the eyes. And for our next combination with Moth Mando we are gonna be pairing him up with the Hunter's Trophy. Now the Hunter's Trophy as I'm making this video you could obtain it right now if you did purchase the battle pass and it just fits very well with the whole brown aesthetic. Then for the harvesting tool we're gonna be going with the Ripe Reapers with the default that is out. Now another battle pass item this was introduced during season 9 of chapter 1 and it just looks amazing because it does have a similar color scheme to that of the outfit. Then for the control we're gonna be going with the Spectral Essence. The Spectral Essence even though it's very simplistic it still matches perfectly with Moth Mando. Then for the glider we're gonna be going with the Field Flyer. Now what I really like about the Field Flyer it does have that chapter 1 glider design but for the most part the wings are military based so it complements them very well. And for the wrap, we're gonna be going with the bubble flash. The bubble flash wrap, even though it does have bubbles rising from the weapon wrap, it still has the military camo that fits the whole thing. Now, for the honorable mentions with Moth Mando, you could pair them up with anything that does have a military style. Anything with green is gonna look very well, or anything even brown is gonna match perfectly with this outfit. Now for the backlink, the backlink was actually the most difficult thing to actually come up with combos but we are going to be pairing it up with the first skin which is the Enforcer. Now the Enforcer was a secret skin revealed during season 5 of chapter 1 and it just matches really well. All grey aesthetics and black from the outfit goes very good with the wings. Then for the harvesting tool we are going to be going with the simple sledge. Now the simple sledge itself is just a regular sledge hammer that you do have and it does have that black color scheme on the hammer itself that goes very well with the outfit. Then for the control, we're going to be going with the Dark Feathers. Now the Dark Feathers are normally used just for the dark aura that it does around the body. Then for the glider, we're going to be going with the Shadow Stalker. Now the Shadow Stalker was given to everybody for free who was playing during Chapter 2 of Season 2 and it does have an all black color scheme that goes very well with the outfit. And for the wrap, we're going to be going with the Shadow Seal. Now the, now the Shadow Seal, similar to that of the glider, you were able to obtain it for free. So it does have that silver and black color scheme that goes very well with them. And for our next combination with the Windback, we are going to be pairing it up with the Demogorgon. Now this, now this combination is more on the creepier side, but it does match very well. The Demon Gorgon, you could have wings on him, and that's the main reason why I paired him up with the backlink. Then for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the G Smashers. The G Smashers are a dueling harvesting tool, very creepy, but it fits the whole aesthetics of the outfit. Then for the Contra, we're going to be going with the Vines. Everybody who actually seen Stranger Things knows that vines are the thing that Demogorgons do feed on and the vines just fit very well with the Contra. Then for the glider we're gonna be going with the root wings. Now the Demogorgons normally do live in trees or underground and it just matches really well with the whole glider. Then for the wrap we're gonna be going with the weather black. The weather black itself is a faded black curl skin with silver which actually complements the outfit because of the similar skin tone he does have. And for our next combination with the Windback, we are going to be pairing it up with the Skull Ranger with the Depot that is out. Now the wings themselves do have patterns on the wings in particular, which even though it is a dark green for the wings, it still looks similar to black and it just matches perfectly. Then for the harvesting tool, we are going to be going with the Stark Splitter. The Stark Splitter itself is an all black and white harvesting tool that does have a skull on the end and just complements the color scheme. Then for the Contra, we are going to be going with the Spectral Essence. Now the special in itself is a very simplistic contra but it does have that wind contra that is white that complements the outfit. Then for the glider we're going to be going with the white brella. Now a white brella you did obtain it in season 6 of chapter 1 if you did get a victory. 
the color schemes are identical to that of the outfit and that's the main reason why I'm using it. And for the wrap, we're going to be going with the 8 ball. Another battle pass item that was introduced during season 2 of chapter 1, the 8 ball itself does have black and white and that's all I need for this combination. And for our next combination with the windback, we're going to be going on military base so we're going to be pairing it up with sledge. Now Sledge with the default edit style does have a similar color scheme to that of the wings and it's something that the military could have been using or experimenting to for soldiers to get wings. And for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the close shave. Now the close shave is becoming one of my favorite harvesting tools out there just because of the unique sound it does have and it matches really good with the military theme. And then since we are going military, we're going to be going with the ballistics for the control. The ammunition on both hands and feet just fit very well with this combination. Then for the glider, we're going to be going with the Cheyenne's dropship. Again, the Cheyenne's dropship does look like a military glider whenever you are using in the battlefield and it looks amazing. Then for the ride, we're going to be going with the Callsign Falcon. The Callsign Falcon for the most part is brown with black which goes very well with the outfit's cosmetic look. And for our last combination with the wing back, we are going to be pairing it up with the Xenomorph. Now one of my subscribers did mention that Xenomorph in the Dark Horse comics does have wings so it was a no brainer to actually pair them up with the wings. Then for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the Chaos Scythe. The Chaos Scythe has a similar color scheme to that of the outfit and it just fits perfectly with him. And for the Contra, we're going to be going with the Spectral Essence. Now the Spectral Essence itself is very simple but yet effective with a lot of skins. Then for the Glider, we're going to be going with the Deep Space Lander. Now the outfit itself is from space so having a ship just made sense. Then keeping this whole combination together, we're going to be going with the Boogeyman for the wrap. The Boogeyman out of all matte black finish just fits perfectly because this whole combination does have all matte black. Now for the honorable mention with the wing back, you could pair it up with any outfit that does have black. Anything that does have yellow or like a grayish color tone is going to look very good with the back thing as well. Those were my 5 combinations I did find for Math Mando and the 5 combinations I did find for his back thing the went back. Let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe, I post the videos your fake cosmetic skins every single day. And if you want to support the channel, my code is ENIGMAKID, all caps, 2 D's, all together. Each time you guys use my code near the item shop or the Epic Game Store, I do get a small percentage of it and it really helps this channel grow. And if you guys have any combo suggestions, leave them in the comments below. And for all my social media in Discord, they'll be in the description. And with that being said, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.